Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and this is Star Marine. Alright, well Star Marine is actually Robert Space Industries, Star Citizen. This is the PvP first person shooter aspect of how people are going to move in the Persistent Universe later on. When the game's a giant MMORPG. Right now there are basically two game modes you can go into multiplayer or custom matches and in multiplayer you have you have last stand which is like domination and then you have elimination which is like deathmatch. All right, there are two different classes. There's one that's medium and one that's light. And you can choose between your armor and your headpiece so you can mix match those two pieces have one that's light and one that's medium. The medium gets to carry two primary weapons and a pistol, and the light gets to carry one primary weapon and a pistol. And of the weapons, there are basically four different weapons, and you get to choose how you want to play by setting all those up. So you have some options, but you know it's not it's not an, a huge arsenal. Now I didn't really know what to think about this originally because. This is kind of like a first-person shooter mod being thrown into an MMO. So I wasn't sure what to think of it. I was like going, um, why are they doing a FPS mod in this? This is supposed to be a persistent universe where it's a giant MMO. Where you fly around, you board ships, you kill people, and you take their cargo and stuff. Or you are on the other side where you defend the ships and you kill the pirates and things like that. So... I really wasn't sure what they were trying to go with this, but I actually like it. It's fun. It plays really good. It's fast. And I really like the zero gravity. I, I wasn't sure how that was going to work, but it actually works pretty well. You, you have a jetpack on and there's different thrusters. So you use your keys to kind of push you around at different speeds and different angles. And it's, it's really cool. It really is. Now you can actually change your class and your weapons in game, so it's not that difficult to do. The only thing is, is that it's it's kind of it's a really small font, and on my monitor I didn't really <laughs> didn't really see it that well. I guess if I'd have been playing in a in a smaller resolution monitor where everything was kind of enlarged, it would have been easier to find. But on my current resolution that I was playing on, it didn't show up very well. So my first few rounds, I didn't even realize I could do it until afterwards I looked at it. I was like going, oh, well, there it is. I can actually change my gun. So if you spawn in with a weapon set that you didn't really want to play with, you can easily change it. Now, I didn't really try the elimination mode. I just, I'm... I like conquest and domination modes. I like where you're controlling objectives and you have a purpose rather than just running around and fragging people. So that's the only game mode that I tried, but I did really like it. It worked out really well. There was no communication really between team members, but outside of that, I liked everything else about the game. I, I liked the weapons. I liked the way they handled. And although there wasn't a large selection of weapons, they did have all four categories of a shotgun, a sniper rifle, an SMG and a rifle and which weapon you chose actually kind of determines your gameplay and your game style now like the SMGs for example you really had to hit people in the head to kill them especially if they're wearing the medium armor so how you play and who you're playing against matters otherwise if you're shooting in the body and they were wearing medium armor they took more shots to hit but if you shot them in the head they usually died really quick especially on the medium loadout, if you don't notice, sometimes you're wearing the light helmet. So you have to kind of make sure what setup you really want. Do you want the medium helmet or the light helmet? So you got to really pay attention to that. But some people who might be wearing the medium helmet are a little bit harder to kill even in the head. So it, it's just one of those things where you have to pay attention to it. But I did have a lot of fun with it. I think the weapons and everything handled really well. I think the gameplay handled well. I really like the environment. The game looks great. And I'm really, really excited for this part of the game so far. Which was surprising because I wasn't even expecting this to be a part of the game. I didn't really expect them to have this in it. I just, you know, I was waiting for the MMO part. Where you run around, do quests, and you play with other people. Not a first-person shooter mod, you know, kind of built into the main game. So, it was a surprise, but it was actually really good. 
Another cool thing that I like too is you can shoot out the windows and things like that. You can actually shoot out the windows and jump out the space station windows, you know, jump out of the space station itself and maneuver yourself over to the other side of the, of the space station, which was cool. I didn't really expect you to be able to do that too, but you can. They really wanted to make this a uh, immersive, realistic feeling game, and so far they're really moving towards that goal. This felt really good. Now I can't wait to board ships and do this when you're, you know, attacking people, whatever, in whatever capacity, whether it's a pirate or, you know, a mercenary or a bounty hunter. That's one of the things I wanted to try to play in this game is I wanted to try to be a bounty hunter. I've already got a ship set up with jail cells. That's pretty cool. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here on that note. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check it out. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool game. And uh, I'll see you next time.